what's good everybody i hope everybody's having a dope ass day today in today's video i want to talk to you guys about the new dlc character that's coming out to the game defense karma seal borto you guys i am fucking excited for this update to drop you guys personally i would have liked to have seen borto as an attack i think with his new compressed rasengan it would have been a great addition to shinobi striker it would have counted out a lot of the jutsus and the combos in the game but it is what it is He's still going to be a great addition to the game nevertheless. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So starting off, we have the ultimate, which is Karma slash Runaway. Resets the number of enemy ninjutsu and substitutions all within range. In addition, it significantly reduces movement speed and continues to absorb the secret technique gauge. So off the bat, this jutsu just sounds fucking insane. So basically, this jutsu gets activated and any enemies in your surrounding area their ninjutsu and subs will all be reset, kind of like the truth seeker orbs, but I'm assuming this is going to be much quicker and much more deadlier. And if that wasn't enough, it reduces movement speed while they're slowed down, so they're still losing their jutsu at the same time, is what it sounds like to me. Bro, all my defenses out there are going to be fucking everybody up with this super. Now I'm not too sure if this Jutsu is going to work on Jutsu like Lightning Blade or Hazan Strike where they're charging at you. And if you use the Jutsu, maybe they get absorbed before they can finish the strike. Or if it only works against Jutsu like Truth Seeker Orb and Jiraiya's Hair Jutsu where they're just standing still and you can maybe take it away from them. But nevertheless though, this is going to be a stupid fire Jutsu and I can't wait to try it out for myself. Moving on to the next YouTube, we got the all new, the all spicy Boruto Stream. Boruto Stream is a counter technique that activates one attack. After moving behind the enemy with substitution, attack in cooperation with your Shadow Clone. Now guys, this off the bat just sounds game changing. This, to be straight up, just sounds like the Sharingan, but perfected. This sounds like an additional add-on to what the Sharingan should have been. Like, the Sharingan should have always been something more than just an extra sub. Don't get me wrong, the Sharingan is one of my favorite Jutsus, and it's something I always use and I will always use until I, for some reason, just stop playing this game or I just, I don't know, just die off this game. Whatever the case is. The short point is, is the Sharingan is OP already, so adding this onto it just makes it like a perfected Sharingan. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm really excited to see what this Jutsu can do, and honestly, who am I fuck up with this Jutsu? <laughs> no, this is you know what I'm saying. Okay. Next on our list, we have Lightning Style Thunderclap Arrow and Water Style Wave Surge. So, I know this is gonna be a little bit confusing for some people, myself included, but these sound like two separate Jutsu, and I don't know if these are going to work together, or maybe they're just labeled differently. I'm not too sure on that, but getting into the first Jutsu, we have Water Style Wave Surge. Any enemies that come in contact with the water will be immobile and will not be able to use substitution. Furthermore, attack with Lightning Style Thunderclap Arrow. Now this is all the information we really have on all the Jutsu right now. Now once again guys, I'm not too sure if these Jutsu can be used together or back to back. But all in all, these Jutsu and this DLC does sound super super fucking solid and I am really excited to have this DLC drop. And I'm not too sure when the DLC is supposed to drop. It says it was supposed to drop today is what the community was speculating, but we're all kind of assuming now it's going to drop next Thursday. It really just depends on the creators behind Shinobi. And we really won't know anything until April 1st. So stay tuned for that. Well, guys, that's it for this video. To be honest, guys, I am super excited for this DLC. And I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get an attack type karma board, so... However, it is going to be super awesome to have a defense Borto in this game, and he's going to change the game completely. It would have been awesome to have Borto's compression was staying on in this game. I think that would have been awesome, and would have been super utilized a lot better for attacks. However, heads held high for Kawaki attack type in this game. As always, make sure to like, sub, and comment which character you want to see in Season 4 of Striker. Love you guys. Stay safe.